Oh, 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 oh boy, oh boy. Oh you boy. are wrong. Ah! Put your hands up. Oh. Give us all your views. Ha 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 ha, you're watching our video. <laughs> Welcome. Hi. Wow, I just committed a crime. <laughs> Guys, we're playing another True Confessions. That's right. Jimmy Fallon copies YouTube channels with his challenges, so we're copying his challenge once again. Oh. Hopefully he doesn't sue us or something. <laughs> Guys, I'm back here at this spooky set that we've created for our <laughs> yeah, confessions. Um, we got Ooh. Noah and Damien Ooh. versus me, the current champion, because I didn't get sprayed once last time, and wow. the boys were soaked. Oh. Nips, 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 Thorsty. Thorsty. <laughs> if you don't know how this game is played, basically we've got three stories here. Some are true, some are false. We're each gonna take turns telling one of these stories and the other people guessing have two minutes to ask as many questions as they want to figure out whether this story is true or not. Then once two minutes are up, we guess whether the story is true or false. Say name Noah's told the story, we guess right, we spray him. But if we're wrong, he gets to spray the bull of us. First. I've been playing a lot of detective video games, so I'm kind of uh, ready. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I've I been a big lying bitch lately, so I'm very ready. Uh, do you want to go first? I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, you won last time. I want to yeah. I wanna see how this works. I just get sprayed right off the bat. Yeah. It's time. It's time. No, I feel no. like you've got better luck choosing cards and stuff. I feel like that's for you. I, I feel, feel like, like she wants us to choose everything but three. So let's do three. All right, let's do three. <laughs> let's I find don't out. Remember. This is gonna be juicy. In middle school, I called out a faculty member for being bad at their job and I didn't get in trouble. Two minutes on the clock. Mm, I feel like this could be one of those half-truths where you did and then you did get in trouble. Uh, no. I, I feel the opposite. I feel like this is a half-truth where that's what she wrote in her diary, but in real life, all she did was like <laughs> whisper like, oh, okay, Mrs. Gretchen. Mrs. You Gretchen know? is such a lady. Well, ask, ask <laughs> yeah. what, 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 what subject was it? What subject was it? It wasn't, a, it's not a subject. So it was a janitor that she yelled no. at? No. What faculty member? It was a dean. A dean? You yelled at the dean. And didn't get in trouble? Did not get in trouble. What grade? Sorry. Uh, seventh or eighth? What did you say to the dean? What was the uh, instigating uh, situation? Um, they lied. They uh, were lying. About? Um, facts. So facts about the real world or like what you did or like your um, friend Janine? Was it school related? Or it like, was yeah. like the dean was uh, lying about what other people were saying in order to get information. Oh, okay, so you were sort of being grilled. Yeah, but falsely. Oh. You know? Did you get like picked out for like a random search or something or like called out no. to get talked to? Our school was, we had lots of drama, so girls were always going to the dean being like, Ugh. Did you ever get in trouble with the dean before? Or had you oh, been yeah. in this kind of situation? Wow. Yeah, I went to the dean a lot in middle school. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what's the dean's name? Uh, well, I can't dox him. Mr. G. Mr. G? Okay. Gretchen. It's Gretchen, like Gretchen. you said, Mr. Yeah. Gretchen. <laughs> yeah. Gretchen. Um, um, did you tell your parents? No. What, what did the dean lie about? Um, he would be like, well, she said you did this, so you should tell me what she did. Like, that kind of thing. And I was like, she didn't say that. She told me she didn't say that. Mm. Sounds like a and so he, bad like, cop. He snapped. Mm. What, he snapped? What did he say when he snapped? He was like, you just accused me of lying. You are, like, what did he say? I can't remember. I can't remember everything he said. But he, he screamed at me for, for calling him out on lying. He said, he's like, you just called the dean a liar and, like, freaked out. But I was right. So. so you didn't get in trouble. Mm -hmm. That this is so weird. So here's my thing on this. Uh -huh. I feel like that looked like a really bad lie, but I could also see Courtney being like, I I, I don't know <laughs> about the fact. Yeah. Like you know, yeah. he was lying about facts. Like maybe mm -hmm. she wanted to seem like she was a terrible, terrible liar. It sounds true just because I know the type of faculty that like really want to have respect and pretend mm -hmm. like they have power, but actually I don't because they're, they're kind of weird and, and petty. I gonna say it's false. Really? I think it's true. I think, I think that's a true story. Okay. Are right. you guys sure? Yes. Yeah. I blocked okay. it. All right. Oh! 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 
Nip, 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 sir. <laughs> That's right. I called the dean out on trying to stew the pot with me and my friends. Like, you don't think us girls communicate with each other? Oh. Guess what? I know you didn't say that to her because she told me that. And he was like, oh, you call me a liar. Made me sat, sit in the middle of the office. He's like, how dare you? You blah, 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 blah. But I was correct and there was nothing he could do. So I went back to class and I was all goody, my guy. Wow. Say it like you said it before where he was lying he about was... facts. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> well, he the was. really believable the way worst. you say it. I know, I'm sorry. I just <laughs> having so much fun being lying to I, I don't trust her now. Well, joke's fun. on you because it's my turn to <laughs> my tell turn. you a thing. Cool number one, baby. One. Uno. I once accidentally shoplifted from a Kmart. I felt so bad that I went back and left money on the shelf. <laughs> On the <laughs> shelf? <laughs> Where How old you were you? The item? I was like eight or nine. Eight when or did nine. you when did you realize that you had stolen the item? I was very excited to tell my parents that did you know if something doesn't have a tag, that means there's no price and you can just take it. And they said, That's not true. Why do you think that? And I went back to the Kmart with my allowance. Oh, uh, and Your put parents it on the drove shelf. You? But no, uh, there was a shopping center close enough that I could bike, uh, uh -huh. which is what I did with friends during the day, which uh -huh. is how I got that info. So you didn't explain to them what happened? You just said, like, oh, they were like, how, why do you think it that? Was and the you next were like, day. I it don't was... know why I think that. I'll be back in 35 <laughs> minutes. So no, funny. it was the next day and it was summer. Mm -hmm. This like, story okay. sounds so like you because you feel like your, your, your conscience is so strong and you feel sorry like for a lot of things and like bringing, but bringing the money back and putting it on the shelf is like the most passive aggressive thing. Well, Not he didn't want to admit to passive, his crime. Passive. That's what right. he just came yeah. and just put it there. You're right, you're right. But all that happened was someone else found $2.85. <sighs> Dude, you were never caught? No. No. Okay. I told my parents like later and they were like, okay, well that's not how you fix it, but you fixed it. So. <laughs> it's, it, it doesn't matter. They were like, so. you learned the lesson, but also that's wrong. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Cool. <laughs> so what did what what was the real price you were about to say? It was eight around eight dollars. I remember I would get two dollars a week for allowance. So was it was like item? a one month hit. It was Lego Bionicle. Oh, yeah. um, a Lego Bionicle? Mm -hmm. There was a cross. They had those like canister things. No, Bionicle is Lego. It's under Bionicle's the same frame. Lego. Yeah. Are we thinking about the same thing where they have the mask? I'm wasting was... time. I never knew that. Yeah. <laughs> I never knew that. Yes. You're really like changing the world in my brain right now. It's but that's Lego Bionicle. A, that explains a lot. Have you shoplifted since then? Never. Okay. No. So that's why I said accidentally. I've never intentionally been like, this is mine now. Okay. Like, so why were you at the Kmart all alone? Because that's what you did in summer. And I was not alone. I was okay. with my friend. Oh, I was with and his, your friend. Is Jay, one. friend Jay, bleep it out. Because okay. um, it was, uh, we were looking at the Bionicles, we liked them at the time, I picked one up and it didn't have a price tag, I went to the other one and he was like, no, 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 dude, that's lucky. My mom says that if you have a, there's no price tag on it, you get to take oh it. Oh my oh, God. Which is why I would like you to say Jay. Yes. No way. I don't know, I want to believe that it's true. I want to believe that it's true because it's so cute and funny. Yeah, I, that's just like so up your alley of like actually something that happened to you. That the, honestly, it, I believe him. I think that's a real him. story. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we believe you, Damien. Uh, uh, oh, 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 oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You are wrong. <laughs> it's a lie! It's a lie! It's a lie! Yeah. <laughs> you dirty liar! Dare what? you take- Okay, so what happened? Is that actually That's like... never happened to me. Wow. Not, nothing like that has happened. Why do we need to bleep out because it makes it more believable. Oh my god. Oh You're my god. You're such a loser. God. We got God. I really thought I'd be able to make it through. All right, can you, you can do this. Can you trust me again? You can do this. Oh, thank you. All right. They're all real, so. I kind of want to do number two. Yeah, two is the best two. one. Two is the best sure. one. Clearly. Yeah, it two? gave me a funny one. Obviously, it's so. so funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I once had my hard drive taken by the FBI. Okay, how old were you? Uh, this was 2006, 2007, when I still had a laptop. So 2020, I'm 23 in February, minus 14. Well, take nine. it up, Matt. What nine. was the- You were nine? I was nine. What was the reasoning behind it? Uh, so now you would call them an ARG, but back then it was just a website. ARG is an alternate reality game. Uh -huh. So I, uh, so, I went to a website that I'd gotten from a game that I played. It's called Bots by Acclaim. If anyone plays it at home, it's dead now, very dead. And someone kept putting in a website and then I went to the website and it was like, it was like an early day dark ARG. Web. Oh. But it was like super nice. Like it wasn't difficult to find out the codes or anything. 
but it ended up being something. So you were using something... bots? No, 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 no. Bots was the game. Okay. The game sorry. was called Bots, and it had this world view. But why did the FBI come to your door for that? What was the oh, deal? Oh, because I the... went to the to the website. I went to this website, and on the website was like it, a game that you would play different ones. It's kind of like an early captcha system where you'd like pick photos or something, where there's mm-hmm. like like designs over numbers and stuff, and so you just figure out these basic codes, and then you would get a number. And then you just keep going, and then you keep building a larger number. And that was like the game, and that that was it. They but I didn't were play it for long. teaching you how to hack? No, no. It's like you go to a website. No, we get that you a, go to the website. Yes. But our full two minutes is used so for you talking about why did they come to the So <laughs> what was the crime the, that they thought? Was okay, a thing? so they left a piece of paper. The crime was I was actually my computer was being used by a group of hackers, and they made the game in order to make you download viruses. Whoa. But I was like nine, so I didn't know what I was you were doing. Nine. So imagine like a like a kids menu, like it's a maze, but but the the it's just turned a little bit, and you just turn the puzzle pieces, and now you can use your mouse. So they were using the your maze. computer as like a relay. Yes. So they would, like an early so they would be system. seen as your okay. So they would yeah, be seen yeah, as yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So how did the FBI find out? I have no idea. I was at school. They just came and took me and my brothers. All had uh, identical Windows Vistas laptops, but. I, I guess my mom just gave me theirs. What did your parents say or about gave that? Them mine. Tack on another minute. The, yeah. uh, what so did your parents say? They didn't really know what was going on, and I didn't really know what was going on. Like this is something I've put together after what happened because the FBI just gives you a piece of paper saying that like they've taken your computer for X, Y, and Z. So it it's whatever the the law is. It wasn't even the FBI. It was police officers that it came was the at the stage request of the, of the internet FBI. and stuff. I so, get it. I don't think it happened to him. I think he he watches enough stuff and knows about all these conspiracies and crazy things that can go wrong. That he could formulate this story, or have heard it about somebody else, and know what happened to that? Him. I think it's not true. I will say that it's true because that's a weird game to make up and be into. Okay. <laughs> yep. Whoa! It was false. I did. Yeah, that was false. That was false. I oh. came up with that on my way driving over. I sent this story in and then I was like, okay, now I've got to make up a reason behind it. Got so it. it didn't happen, but yeah. No, you I really helped sure me, let wrong. me describe that website. It really gave me time to like really see what was happening good. in front of me. Yeah. I'm happy. Wow. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. All right, <clears throat> my turn again. Man. Okay. Um, I feel like number one is going to be a lie. I want to hear a true story. Oh, oh. okay. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. yes. That's a lying lie. <laughs> So my scuba air tank burst during a dive in Mexico 2016 while I was 50 feet under. Burst? The t- tank burst, yeah. Did someone else say that it burst or did you say it burst? I felt it. Yeah, but when you got back up, they were like, oh yeah, this burst. No, I'm sure they used a different, they were using mm-hmm. all kinds of scuba lingo. Okay. It was my first, it was literally my first dive. Wow. What happened, like did someone immediately notice or did you flag down I, I felt it, people saw it, and then I was like assisted up top the person was actually very like overly caring, like gave me his mouthpiece to his tank so that I could make sure mm. I could breathe while they were on the way up. But yeah, like it was, mm. it was like a whole thing. You mm. went on a 50 foot dive? We were mid dive and we were currently 50 feet below. What kind of sea critters were you seeing at 50 feet? This is how we get her. I don't know the types of fish, they were striped. Um, they were very not afraid of Where us. Where were you? It was Cozumel, Mexico. Mm. And and how did you, you just went on a boat? So it was a dive from, from like we literally di- jumped off a dock on the island. Mm-hmm. Um, my mom's husband at the time, he was that scuba instructor and mm-hmm. we, that was just one of the dives of the day. So my first one. So you were not, you obviously weren't licensed to go scuba diving. No, I was. It, it, like, when did you get your scuba diving license? You can get it done in a couple of days if you if you like really do it. And since he was like there So where to, did you get trained? My, he's He has like a PT, What I don't know what it was, but he has like a pool. He does, he does physical therapy and he has basically like his own little office that has like training and, and mm-hmm. like, and then there's a room with the pool How and in that po- pool he would Sorry. teach. There you go. He would teach, like he would teach people in groups. How many people were on the dive with you? Um, I think it was like 12. But they noticed right away that your thing had burst? Yeah, cause I was like in the middle of the group. Like I wasn't like behind everyone, you okay. know? How deep was the pool that you got trained in? Uh, I think it was 12 feet. How did you feel after the burst? It was, it, it like bumped, I felt the bump on my head, but like it, it was mostly just like bubbles coming this way. Um, and I was. But you couldn't breathe immediately or was there some It, w- it felt left? weird. I didn't understand what was happening. And like, I, I took it out of my mouth really fast. Cause I was like, what the, like what's, I didn't understand what was going on. Mm. Um, and I felt like somebody grabbed my arm and like they knew immediately what was happening and like what to do. Well, playing the game a little bit here, Noah, the first one that she gave us was a truth. So mm-hmm. we got a 50, 50 shot here. Yeah. Yeah. We well, technically two can be lies. You can choose to have two lies. That's true. also yeah. true. So at this point true. they could just be lies. 
That's true. It's 50-50 or a 100% lie. And with that in my brain, I felt like she was lying. And now I want to say she's lying even more. No, I'm going to go with false just because I want it to be false. Yeah, I want it to I, be a lie as well. I don't I feel like that's a lie. I don't feel like I have any clues that lead me toward that, but I just want it to be false. Really? Yeah. I'm going to go false liar. That's your final answer? Yeah, yeah. that's our final that's answer. Final answer. It's the one. Mm -hmm. Well, sh right me. <gasps> oh, <laughs> baby! I've never been scuba diving. I never even got my license. I'm too scared. I've never even seen you near water until just now. I mean, there's a, there is a vlog of me at Cosmo Mexico on my personal mm. channel. See, that's oh, what wow. I was thinking. It, is, it does coincide with the timeline or whatever, mm -hmm. but no, no, I, I never went. Good was, job. No one would date a scuba instructor. <laughs> <laughs> that's the weirdest part. Uh, okay, your turn. Two wet. Envelopes. Envelopes. Okay. Well, what do you What do you feel? Um, I kind of want to do number three. Yeah, you feel three? Mm -hmm. We can do three. That's a mistake. Let's do it. It's a three country. Yeah, <laughs> it's a three country. I was once featured in a teen heartthrob magazine. Wow. wow. Was it for so random? Uh, it was not for so random, but it was around that time. What magazine? J14. J14. That's, so that's so specifically for real? Jewish 14 year olds or Japanese 14 year olds? <laughs> I think it's just I think it's just teenagers. Okay. It's like J who's who's 14? Zac Efron looking at today? And it like, was you. Well, yes, but I'm not like front cover or anything. Wow. Were you posed in it? No, uh, they took a shot from a different like event I'd gone to, like a publicity shot, and they just wrote up like a oh. little little blurb. Oh, you didn't even get it. interviewed. No, and the interview that they used was kind of like not fully. Real? Like factual, like mm -hmm. it was, but it was saying like it said something to the effect of like he loves uh, talking to his so random castmates and trying out new jokes on them. And I was like, uh, I'm like, I'd never walk up and be like, guys, I got a new joke for you. Yeah. This is how TV works. Like, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. So they were talking about you doing so random stuff, but it wasn't for so random. Uh, it's no, it was basic. It was after, and it was just like this guy makes us laugh on so random. Uh, he was really happy with his cast, and they said like he's accepted us, and or they've accepted me. Do you still me, and, have a copy of this magazine? Um, I might somewhere. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I have like a digital like mm -hmm. shot of it. What like, event was it for? No, uh, the event that it was from was I saw um, Real Steel in uh, on the red carpet. And it was You're my first like red carpet, one. the boxing one, wow. and I so I they had my shot from that. So this was what 2011? Uh, probably no, uh, yeah, 2011, 2012, 2011. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What, uh, where did you see this magazine? Um, I worked with a publicist at the time briefly and she was like, hey, just so you know, you're gonna be uh, in this, and so. You worked with the J14 publicist? Not not their publicist. Mm -hmm. I had my own like publicist on the side. And oh, she, I okay, think it okay. set up. Like, oh, okay, a little interview a little, to be put into thing. J14? Yeah, yeah, wow. it was just a little like thing. Mm -hmm. that, Are you still like, with them? No. Okay. We're friendly. Yeah. Give me give me initials. JK. JK. Wow. Just like kidding. J14. Yeah, right? <laughs> just like J14. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> um, I think it's false. You think it's false? I, I think, think it's I false. think that's true. I think that's I think really. True. I really think that's something that would occur with minimal knowledge it's, it's to very, the person it's happening to. See, that's the thing. Just like yours, mm -hmm. I feel like it is valid. Like a lot of the information, that stuff totally happens uh -huh. all the time. But I don't think it happened to him. I, okay. are, are we good? That's be, it. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. Be different. Be okay. different from me. That's fine, <laughs> Noah. It's fine. I'm not lying right, all right. now. <laughs> so I believe that story is true. Well, oh. one of you's got to get it. Oh God! 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 Oh God. <laughs> I got scared. Dang it! Oh. It was very embarrassing. Um, it's from J14 Magazine. Selena Gomez was on the cover, and there was it was literally like this big in the magazine, and the section was called Eye Candy. And it said, this cutie makes us laugh on so random. Everyone has accepted me as one of their own, he says. <laughs> when he's not busy filming, he loves to try out new jokes on the cast. Wow. And I was like, you just filled that in. <laughs> what the hell? Yep. That's ridiculous. And I do oh still have, I, I may have a copy, but I definitely I have a shot I gotta see a photo. Amazing. I'll find it, That's yeah. That's amazing. Put it up. Yeah. Yes. Put it up. That's really awesome. funny. Awesome. All right. Noah. Okay, you guys have number one and number three. Well, we just did a number three. I'd like to hear a number one. Number Whoa. one? All right, number, number one. one, goodbye, number three, to never, to, to, to never be known. To never be heard. No. One time I skied into a tree and got buried in snow. I don't know why when you told me that, that took me back like three years. To when it happened to me? No, it took me yeah, back like, like winter you? games and like us being in the snow and like you doing put oh, in my mouth. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was just what yeah. it felt like Yeah, that's me. super fun. I nearly broke my spine on a snowman. How old was I? Yeah, how old were you? 
probably 11 or 12. 11 How fast 13. were you going when you crashed into this tree? Uh, so I had skied all my life before I flipped to snowboarding. So I was probably going, I was, I was going through the tree. So I was probably going like anywhere from 15 to 25 miles an hour. What snow resort were you at? Um, or where were you? Uh, uh, Heavenly, Heavenly in Lake Tahoe. The Lake Tahoe, Reno area is where my family and I would always go. Was so it snow Heavenly. from the tree or did you fall back into fresh powder that? I think it was a combo of both because in, in between trees, there's usually like trails that other people mm -hmm. had gone. So I think it was a mixture of me hitting the tree and snow falling and me hitting the tree. Yeah, and it's always and really snow. soft by the trees. It's weird. How were you found or did you get up yourself? I, I had to bury myself out. I tried to get other people to hear me, but no one <gasps> could hear me. Oh, that's terrifying. I yeah, literally yeah. yeah, but my head was above, so I was like safe in that way. Oh okay. my goodness. Mm -hmm. How did you get your legs out? Uh, they were, wow, I had to pop my skis off. They really were like over me like this, like knees going the wrong way, essentially, or maybe wow, like this. Wow, you went ass in or what? Uh, essentially, I'd like fallen back and then my legs kind of went above what? me. So I was in like a weird pose, like at different altitudes within the snow, my legs, <laughs> and still with the skis, so the weight was weird. So it was like I had really long feet above mm. me. Where were your parents at the time? Uh, they were at the bottom. Mm. Yeah. Any, any, any bruises or anything? Um, not that I remember. I didn't like break anything. Like I hurt after, mm -hmm. but I think I was just more happy to be like safe. What part of your body hit the tree? Like what took the brunt of the impact? Um, I'm not sure because I hit, uh, not the trunk because the trunk was buried. I hit like leaves and stuff. I was going through and then the way mm -hmm. the path was done through the trees was it was like, here's one run and then you can take like a black diamond part of it and you can mm -hmm. go through the trees, but there's another run that goes through the trees as well. And there's like a little jump. So I was going down and like a snowboarder was going off this jump, just like happened to be at the same time. Mm -hmm. And he clipped the top of my helmet. And that caused me to like go into what would be someone else's tracks going through he the, the snow. He on your head? Yeah, he, he essentially grinded my head really quick. <laughs> and then he like, go like, whoa. This ain't real. Sorry. I'm false, I'm yeah. on that you false, saying false I'm saying false, and I'll tell false you why. Uh -huh. If you had run into the trunk, first of all, you would have taken a lot of damage. And I know you said you didn't, mm -hmm. but that would have been enough to shake a tree and get a bunch of snow off uh -huh. of the boughs to fall on you. You mm -hmm. just said you're going through branches and then mm -hmm. after I asked you about that, you had this whole new thing about there's a second path and a new person and mm -hmm. a thing. So I feel like this is another example of like, and then there were numbers and letters and shapes. You know, the mm -hmm. capture thing? Yeah, it was a website. They mm -hmm. used a website, Yeah, you he got to see so, it more and more as he yeah. told it. Yeah, it's false. false. Dude. Both of you think it's false. Think yeah, it's dude. false, dude. I did no that. Way. I hurt myself a lot. Yeah, I got buried and then I was yelling for someone and I thought someone was coming, but they didn't see me. They just put more snow on me. It was a big thing. <laughs> oh, my brothers no. like went searching for me. I was there for like 40 minutes, like slowly like digging my way out. That's Holy really crap, what happened. Dude. Yeah, it was pretty it was pretty crazy. You should just get better at telling stories then. Yeah. Because yeah. I couldn't follow that at all, like well, a liar. <laughs> oh my just god. Kidding. Sorry. No, that was good. You know what else is dope? This video right here, wow. picked by YouTube. Uh oh, and uh oh, I'll look at it. There it goes. Right over here. Uh oh, I like that one. Uh oh, we picked that one personally. So personally, we oh my did gosh. personally do it. And also, yeah. I just want to point out that every one of y'all's is a is a dirty, dirty liar, and my hey. best friends. Hey, yeah. hey. that's not true. Hey, oh, oh, 